Hello guys, my name is Geet Dillo and today I'm going to tell you how to add subdomains in your Hostinger panel. So basically assuming you guys have uh, the Hostinger, you have bought the Hostinger hosting, either a business plan or a premium plan where they tell you, you can have, you can add basically 100 subdomains, right? So I will guide you how to do that, right? So uh, in, uh, just remember this thing, you need to have one primary domain that is mandatory. And after that, if you bought that one primary man, uh, uh, one primary domain, you don't need to go ahead and buy uh, multiple domains just in case guys, you feel you just want to test out your websites or probably you just want it like a staging website or probably you just want to experiment with things or create demos, right? For that, you don't need to separately buy a domain. That is for that we use the subdomains, right? So you buy one main domain and you, uh, after this can create uh, the, as in hosting, you can create hundred subdomains. And that, what that means is you can create hundred websites, but what just one main primary domain that you bought, the rest of it is going to be free. You can create subdomains for free. So let's just go down and try to understand how to do it. So guys, I'm here inside my Hostinger panel. I want you guys to first log into your Hostinger panel and the first uh, screen that is visible is this, and you can just click on manage. Once you click on manage, just uh, next screen would be, uh, allow you to go to your dashboard, right? So whatever your primary hosting is, it will show you the dashboard, this main panel of uh, the Hostinger. From here, everything is available. All the options of the panel of the uh, Hostinger panel are available over here. So even the domains or installing WordPress is available over here. What Once you reach here, you just have to scroll down. And once you scroll down, you will see there will be an option of domains. So inside the domains, you have an option of subdomain. So you just click on the subdomain. Once you click on the subdomain, you will be asked uh, to enter the name of the subdomain and the end part would be the primary domain, whichever prim primary domain you have bought, the end part would be that. And it's just, you would be asked to enter the subdomain. So my subdomain or whatever, it's like my blog, my test website, anything that you want to add, right? So it's up to you what you want to add as a subdomain for creating your testing website or experimenting or just practicing or creating your demos, right? For that, you can use this subdomain. Now, once you do that, type the name, click on create. Once you create this, then it is time to go ahead and install this, right? So for installing, so inside your dashboard, you would actually have to go back and, you know, click on this dashboard part. And once you click on this dashboard, uh, you will be guided to your main primary domain, right? And over there, you will see this screen. And on the right hand side, you will see that all your websites will be listed over here. Whatever main domains or primary domains or subdomains you are uh, like, uh, in whatever subdomains are there uh, will be listed. Since you are inside the main domain, all the subdomains will be listed over here. So you just have to uh, select the particular domain which you actually just uh, created now. You can select that domain and once you select that domain, then it will show. Since the WordPress would not be installed on it, it would definitely show you these settings. It will show you either to detect WordPress or to install WordPress. Here, once you click on install, here, once you click on install, the same procedure will start off where it will ask you how to actually go ahead and install uh, your uh, uh, install your WordPress, right? So all you have to do is, and once you're done with the details, just click on next. Then it will ask you regarding the versions and all these things. You can just click on simply click on install. And once you click on install, uh, the WordPress would be installed on this. Uh, the screen would change. It would uh, show you the installed WordPress. And then you can just go ahead and log in from the backend. So that is the complete procedure to install a subdomain. And the best part is you can create multiple subdomains. You can come back to this part, go ahead and uh, click on the subdomain, create another subdomain. And after creating another subdomain, go back to your main dashboard, uh, then install, uh, install the new, uh, select the new subdomain that you created and install the WordPress again on it. So that's how you go about doing the things, right? So once it is done, you can just refresh this. Or once it is done, if in case you feel this is uh, still, uh, there's something missing, you can either refresh it or reinstall it in case that happens, right? So I hope so guys, you were easily able to understand how to go about installing the subdomain and how it, how useful it is. You can just create multiple websites with just one domain, right? So just remember you have to have one that one domain. So guys, that's all for this video. So thank you for watching this video.